sexists and racists and bigots. And uh, if you're going to give a voice to one, you should give a voice to another. And vice versa, if you're going to ban one, you should ban the other. Now, Tommy Robinson wanted to speak to you about that, so we are going to allow him to come on air and give that right of reply. And he will be challenged as, indeed, anyone who comes onto this show is. So that's coming up. Make sure you stay with us here on the BBC Asian Network. It's nine minutes past 12. You're listening to Nihar Live on the BBC Asian Network. In the first hour of the show, I asked you the question, do you believe that extremists should be banned from being able to air their views uh, from TV, uh, radio, uh, on the internet, uploading YouTube videos? Should we ban these individuals? Or does that mean that we can't debate with them. We can't challenge their views. In the first hour, we talked about people like Anjum Chowdhury and we had people call in and mention the name of Tommy Robinson, former leader of the English Defence League, and said that he said lots of hateful things about Islam and incited racial hatred, and yet we had to listen to him, is what people said. So, Tommy Robinson, who was listening, called in to the BBC Asian Network saying that he would like to have a right of reply. And here he is. Good afternoon, Tommy. Good afternoon. How are you? Um, good, thank you. Um, Tommy, um, tell me, do you think that uh, in your former incarnation as leader of the EDL that your views were hateful and incited racial hatred? No, oh no. Um, I'm, I'm yet to find anybody who can tell me one thing I've ever said in my life that's racist. Um, I ask a lot of people whenever I've been debating them, what have I said that's wrong or even incorrect? Um, the truth nowadays is seen as hatred, uh, and that's the problem. Um, since we last spoke, Nahal, yeah, since we last spoke, obviously a lot has happened since then. And um, if we just look at what's happened, of which I've seen but play out, we've seen the Islamist takeover of schools in Birmingham. Yeah, we've seen the ISIS. We've had a couple of beheadings in between. We've seen all. all we've seen the Rotherham report. These are all things that we were talking about. These are all things that we were being called extremists for. So when people, I, I'm listening to you saying it's incited racial hatred, incited religious hatred. Not once in my life have I ever, ever done any of that. Have you ever I've said only... Islam is fascist? Islam is violent, and we've had enough. Uh, I have. Yes, I have said that. So uh, how is that time. not inciting racial hatred? How is that not leading in some uh, way to the fact uh, that we have seen a 65% rise in Islamophobic crimes in London in the past year? I'll tell you how it's not. It's because my, an opinion that Islam is fascist, Jen, when we see literal Islam, which it, or literalist taking of the scripture, which we're seeing ISIS do, it's fascism. We see Anjum Chowdhury's group do it. It's fascism. That's fascist. I, an ideology that propagates it to be superior to other uh, uh, other communities and other, and other ways of thinking, and it, and it was just to subjugate them. But but why it's do you? It's fascism. But, but why do you take what Anjum Chowdhury says to be the face and the views and the opinions of Muslims around the world, over a billion of them? When I don't, wait a minute, Tommy, I don't look at a Ku Klux Klan member and think, well, that's what all white people are like. I don't look at <laughs> Anders Breivik. I don't look at the Oklahoma boomer Timothy Mc and think, my gosh, look at all white people. I don't think, because I was chased down the street by skinheads calling me packy, that all white people are racists, scum well, no, and fascists, no, do I? OK, no, I'm not saying all Muslims are racist or fascist, am I? What, just what the, just, me, just you the no, religion. You but you're saying the religion what, is. What you asked me is, was it wrong that I said Islam is a fascist ideology? That's what you asked me. In my opinion, yeah, which is it's my opinion, and where do I base my opinion on? I base my opinion on a lifetime of growing up in Luton. I base my opinion on five years of non-stop studying, reading, and listening to not what I'm saying, but what Muslims are saying worldwide. Yeah, what Muslim but, leaders are saying. What, 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 what are uh, you ignoring the Muslim leaders who say that Islam is a religion of peace and love? Are you saying the Muslim? Are you no, ignoring not, no. the Muslims who no, want to meet with rabbis and Catholic priests and Buddhist priests and Hindus? Hindus and Sikhs and, no, and not, have, are you saying yeah. that they are all fascists? No, no, no. You asked me. You asked me. Was it wrong that I said Islam is a fascist ideology? That's what you asked me. No, I'm not ignoring them. When, when you're talking but about you also said it doesn't incite racial hatred. It doesn't. If, if I have an opinion, say for example, I say Scientology. If I think Scientology is backward, yeah. If anyone calls, going to say I'm inciting racial hatred. Scientology is an ideology. Islam is an ideology. 
it's not racial hatred. You can be, you can be black, white. There are a vast but amount of Muslims in this country, far more than there are Scientologists. So, 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 living, because living, because there's, living. There's more Muslims, we shouldn't be able to. So because there's more people who think a certain way, which is what it is, it's a way of thinking. We shouldn't be able to speak our opinion on it because it's inciting of hatred. But if but if, but if, but if you say Islam is fascist, Islam is violent, and we've had enough, and then some of your supporters go out and um, perhaps uh, try and graffiti over a mosque or, or attack Muslims on the street, and we're seeing this happening, you are putting your hands up in the air and saying my comments have nothing to do with that. There's no link so, between so me, describe, me describing me okay. describing uh, me describing a religion de de followed by over a billion people in the world as fascist and violent. You don't think that that in any way incites people to commit violent acts. So, so, so let's view that in a different way. Let's take a verse within the Quran that... No, 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 let's, view, let's no, no, view it in the way. Are you, are you saying that, Hold, that the verse in the Quran that says that you should murder and you should cut off, their, cut off the feet and hands, are you saying that that verse is inciting racial hatred? How many, how, but how, many Muslim, how many Muslims do you know of your friend circle? And you were on the show and told me you have yeah. Muslim friends who yeah. are more than happy to cut people's hands and, and legs off. In the same way, you can look at the Bible and there are plenty of well, no, things yeah, in the Bible no, which argue, are... Your argument then, Nahal, your argument is that because I said that, somehow it's inciting racial yes, hatred. And now, you're trying to argue, now you're trying to argue the opposite. When we have the verses in the Quran which ISIS are acting on, which leave these killers acted on, people are not acting on what I'm saying to kill anyone or murder anyone. But so by maybe, you, but by you tarring an entire faith based on the acts of individuals who are barbaric, the majority yeah. of Muslims in this country argue that they are barbaric. They do not represent the views of mainstream Islam. By yeah, you I'm saying the entire... But, 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 but you don't say, do you, that ISIS is fascist. You don't say Islamic extremists are fascist. You say the whole religion is. Therefore, oh, you are yeah. tarring everybody with the same brush. No, by saying, by saying Islam is a religion of peace, that's an opinion. That's not factual. When David Cameron's come out... Says that, that's but that not, opinion that, that, that's doesn't lead to people being attacked on the street, does it, Tommy? But neither, Your neither opinion does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't at all. And when you're talking about having Andrew Chowdhury on shows, etc., should we be doing it? Yes, we should. And, and, and one of the most encouraging times I've seen is when Majid Nawaz was debating him. I've seen um, Dr. Osama Hassan debating him. But by not wanting people and giving them a platform, the only problem you have is why aren't more imams coming out and debating him on his on, theologically, on the scripture, on apostasy, on, on adultery, on Sharia? Why are we not... That, that would be encouraging, but I'm sorry, but I think that there are a large number of imams in this country that share a sympathetic view on adultery, on apostasy and on Sharia. And until you start getting somewhere, but when people are trying to equate, the biggest argument you've got here is because I said Islam is a fascist ideology, somehow that's inciting hatred. But when we have verses in the Quran that are being then acted upon... Then why weren't you more specific? Are being acted upon. Are being, these verses are being acted upon. You, you still push to say that it's peaceful and this scripture's peaceful. It's being, they're being acted upon. People are having their heads cut off. People are being butchered and murdered. But because I don't, but Tommy, it's because, it's yeah. because I don't judge all Catholics by the actions of Catholic paedophile priests in the same way that you shouldn't uh, think of Islam in, in its entirety and all of those people who love and follow it as being followers of a fascist, violent ideology. A, a literal interpretation. It comes down to an interpretation, which we're there seeing... There are parts of the Bible that says you should walk around without any clothes on. People don't go around doing that. No, they don't, but people do go around chopping people's heads off. We've, you know, we have an entire state but they're in... taking it literal. We have an entire state. This is the, one of the biggest problems currently in the world, facing the world, is an entire state has formed taking a literal interpretation of Scripture that leads them... When we have Boko Haram, for example, who are taking sexual slaves, and they're saying that Allah commands them to do that, when we have ISIS who are doing exactly the same, they are raping and pillaging and saying that they are taking and the Tommy, actions of... Tommy, their, you have know, hold, five hold on, hold on. Arab Muslim states joining the military campaign against ISIS. You have yeah, Shia militias. Yeah. You have Sunnis who are also joining the battle against ISIS. To pretend that ISIS is somehow a spokesperson or a representation of every Muslim on the planet Earth is absurd. No, again, yes, they you're are. In, you're, again, you're putting words in my mouth. How have I pretended that that's a, that's a view well, you believe, you believe that the ideology that it's based on is fascist and violent and that all of Islam is that.
No, did I? No, did I say that? Well, you said, that? You, said, you, said you said Islam is fascist. Now. You said Islam is violent, and we've had enough. Now, I, yeah. I mean, well, you didn't. And it, and it, you weren't Islam, smart enough and, and, to be specific about it, were you? Uh, smart, smart enough to be specific and say Islamist. You're talking about three or four years ago. You're talking about a, a, a few, or even a few, a, a few hours after he had his head cast. That's what you're talking about. This is about. back from the Guardian so, in 2013. Yeah, yeah, well, two, two hours after Lee Rigby had his head cut off. So sorry I didn't mix my words properly at that, at that specific point when I was angry and frustrated. When we say Islamist, Islamist is a interpretation of Islam that people wish to push and spread right. and force on others, yeah? And that is what we're seeing. Okay? So, so just now, to clarify, I, sorry, yeah. just to clarify, because I'm a little bit confused. So you would like to uh, re visit that particular statement and say actually what you meant was Islamism is fascist, Islamism is violent and we've had enough. Political Islam. Yeah, poli right, so not political Islam. Islam. Not well, no, Islam. But that, no, but the, the Islamism I talk about to all these people who are, who are enforcing it, that's Islam. That's their Islam. That's their interpretation of Islam. It's an Islamist ideology, which is political Islam. But the problem we have, so, so, so instead, we're never going to get to the root cause of the problem while we say they're not Muslim and they're not following any teachings of Islam. Because they are, OK? So yes, well, well that, that they, they are, you're absolutely right that they do feel that their interpretation of Islam is the correct one. Can I just yes. move on to some so tweets? The biggest, can the I just move on? The debate should not be that I said that. Surely, can, if we ever think that's going on worldwide... No, but the debate... Yeah, yeah, no, but the debate, the debate is, is by people like you who are controversial figures, about yes. people like you who have been accused of inciting racial hatred by, a, by, by, by the recent... Oh, by, by. by the recent... Uh, well, there's plenty of people on Twitter that do. I mean, some people have tweeted me talking of tweets saying, did you... Did you ever tweet, for instance, Tommy, uh, what do you call a Pakistani that don't that don't No, I didn't. Smell. Come okay. on, man. Can, I can make up screenshots. Uh, there's, there's, people, there's people who dedicate their lives to trying to harass me on Twitter. Over a third of girls are married um, before they're 15 um, because uh, Muslim men want to, and then a sexual swear word, children. Have you ever tweeted that? Uh, that's something about Bangladesh, actually. Yes. That's, and and that, that was copied from an article from a... Bang from, from a from a Hindu woman. That was just a copy and paste of a, what a Hindu woman had, had put so out. You, so you, minute, so you cut article. and pasted it and tweeted it? Yeah, because it was, it was showing that they want to lower the age of sexual intercourse um, in, and marriage in Bangladesh to not... And, and when I'm talking about this point, is that what I was just saying, yeah? No, the, Haram, the majority like, no, no, of no, paedophiles no, in this no, country no, are white no, men, Tommy. They're no, people no, like no, you. Of course they are. Of course they are. The reason why is because the majority of people in this country are white. Now, we have an epidemic... Nationwide epidemic. I attended a, a, um, a Hindu temple this week for a conference on child exploitation. You are seeing every community in this country having to form links and try to tackle and highlight and educate their women, educate their daughters on the threats and, and, and what's happening because the police have failed, social services have failed, the Islamic community has failed in general with their political leaders, with their imams in these towns and cities. Now, my point is, which if you let me just finish that one point, Go is on. that... If Boko Haram are saying it's because Allah commands them, if ISIS are saying it's because their religion justifies it, when we have this epidemic that we have, when we look at Rotherham and we have 1,400 children, when we look at Oxford, when we look at Blackpool, when we look at every single town and city that has this epidemic of these gangs, the minute you try to look to the root cause of the problem or you even try to mention that maybe these men are justifying it through religious scripture, maybe they're not. They maybe they're not. But as soon as you mention that, you're Islamophobic. You're racist. Yeah? And this is what's happened. And that actual way of shouting can, people can, down, can that, bring, way, yeah. that actual way of shouting people down, is, is, is now in a report. That is what has facilitated the rape of 1,400 girls. OK, all right, this week okay, 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 okay. Can, I, tweet, can I just yeah. bring you back to this Bangladeshi tweet? Why did you tweet this? Yeah. Why did I tweet it? And did you... Did you um, is women... Was this from a, from a Hindu person who said probably... Is Muslim men wanna and then sexual swear word children? Was that a quote or was that you saying that? that? No, that was her quote. That was her quote. So what? what was a, so why did? So what did you? I mean, you didn't hashtag it or anything. You didn't. You didn't. It looked like um, that you would. You were condoning that opinion. Do you? Um, it, it, do you? But do you believe that Muslim men wanna have sex with children? If they want to lower the age of fifteen for marriage and they're voting on it, then yeah, obviously they do. Um, but why didn't you put? Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Why didn't you? But why didn't you ask it as a question, not as a statement? Well, again, what we what we're resorting to now is looking at a tweet like that, rather than us talking about why they want to lower the age of sex to nine. Yeah, rather than us highlighting and talking and debating that, we're talking about maybe I could address it up a bit better. 
No, it's not about, it, it, but it, no, but Tommy, it buys into it buys into whether you have a T. Robinson new era or not. This buys into the opinion that many have that there is no new era for Tommy Robinson. That you are the same old Islamophobe that you were before, and that you want to tweet these provocative things because you didn't put Bangladesh. I mean, you didn't question it in any intelligent way. You were arguing the passion post the killing of drummer Lee Rigby led to you saying what you said before. But this is in the cold light of day that you've said problem is Muslim men or you're quoting someone, you're not questioning it, you're not mm. asking a question, you're just saying it. So what if, what, but what if people then ask you the question, Tommy, is this what you think? Do you think all Muslim men want to have sex with children? No, no, of course I don't. So, no, so, so, why, I don't. Did, so why didn't you question this tweet? Why didn't you, why didn't you again, post why, why tweet you, it? Why are you picking that tweet instead of picking a tweet where I put because out saying... Tommy, no, no, listen, go on, listen, go on, go on, go on. I put a tweet, I put a tweet out saying the Muslim lads that I've grown up in, with in Luton would, would physically beat up Muslims for acting the way they have in Rotherham, yeah? Why are you not picking that? Why are you not picking the tweet where I put out saying... If because anyone, this in, tweet in, contradicts in, in light, that. In, in light of Rotherham, <laughs> in light of Rotherham, if you go out and attack a mosque, you're a moron. You are an idiot. If you go out and attack a, and you shout abuse at an individual Muslim woman walking down the street, you are also an idiot and a moron. And, I was, and why are you not picking tweets? Well, that, that's I, all I, very I, laudable, I, Tommy. Well, but if yeah, you so don't, why are you, why, why are you because, doing, because all yeah. because all of those tweets are undermined by this one, quite obviously, Tommy. Why are they? Well, it, 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 why are they? Well, why if if you want to lower the age of sex to, uh, and marriage to under fifteen, in my view, you want to have sex with kids. Now, what, what's wrong with me saying that? That, right. That's disgusting right, practice. Okay. And I think you, you should me? be picking at the practice rather than picking at what I say about it. Okay. And I, well, I, and well, wait, is, wait, 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 Tommy, Tommy, let, just stop you there for a second, my friend. I do want to keep you on here, so please stay with us. Yasser, my friend, is on the line. Uh, Yasser, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Yahal. How are you doing? I'm very well. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Yes, sir, please no tell me, should people such as uh, Anjum Chowdhury and people such as Tommy Robinson, if you equate the two of them, do you believe they should be banned? Um, I have been waiting for Anjum Chowdhury to be banned, uh, to be off the screens and off the radio for a long time. And I jumped for joy, to be honest with you, when I heard that he was going to be banned. <laughs> Tommy Robinson, I don't hold in, 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 in a similar regard. Um, I don't agree with everything he says, but I don't think he's anywhere near as extreme and, and as horrid as Anjum Chowdhury is. Um, I mean, basically, to be honest with you, I blame the community that um, the, the, all the communities that we in the Muslim communities that we live in we have failed to stop these people it's been going on for a number of years and it's spreading and the charities message is spreading as you can see from what's happening in Syria or the amount of people that have gone over I can see it all around me in our communities the communities have failed to stop these people so as a last resort the government at a point now where they have no choice Mm. It's not, um, so you 100%. think it's a failure on behalf of the British Muslim community to deal with this themselves that's meant that now the government has to step in? Absolutely, 100%. Mm. Um, Interesting. As, yeah, far as, yeah, Tommy Robinson to, uh, as far as Tommy Robinson is concerned, I probably agree with 95% of what he's saying. OK. Um, some, you know, some of the people that, were in, that are in the EDL, they are the wrong people, they are extremists, and Tommy should have not uh, had anything to do with those well, people. Well, he, well, he's um, left the EDL now. He's, well, yeah, he's uh, right. but when he was in there, that, you know, obviously there were people who were racist, who were from the BNP and what have you. But I, uh, to, to, to try and stop, I think, uh, Tommy, what he's saying, it, it is wrong. I mean, what, what we have to do, I mean, I consider myself a modern Muslim, we have to move on, we have to modernise, and we have to accept criticism. It, that's all he's doing. All right. Yes, sir, stay, stay with us, yes, sir. Hassan is in Tooting in London. Yes, sir, stay there. Uh, Hassan, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Neil. Yeah, what would you um, like to say? Well, I, I just want to pick up on the last point. Um, what Tommy is saying is not correct, because what, what I feel like, he's blaming everyone. He's painting every Muslim with the same brush as usual. I've heard him before on various stations, and he just comes out with the same old stuff. Should he be banned? He, he condemns it. Should he condemns it. But should someone like that be banned? Banned from what? This is democracy. But banned banned from being on TV, banned from being on the radio, because that's what the Home Secretary is suggesting, that um, extremists, and, and of course uh, some people wouldn't regard Tommy Robinson as an extremist, and, and, and they wouldn't regard Anjum Chowdhury as an extremist, but should people who have extreme views um, be banned? People like that cause fury, so therefore they should be banned. Mm, Tommy, what would you say to me? 
Um, I'd say that, look, I offer my hand of friendship to any Muslim in Britain that wishes to oppose fascism in the sense of that, not, not just far-right fascism as well, because that should be opposed, yeah? And racism should be opposed. And those statistics that you're talking about, women, women being attacked, it's all wrong, yeah? But any Muslim in Britain that wishes to oppose the sort of barbaric views that we're seeing propagated in their religion's name, it's not me doing it, OK? It's not me that's saying this is representative of Islam, it's them. And that's why I say they need to be debated. We need to see theological debate to Anjum Chowdhury. We need to see more people like Dr. Osama Hassan. But what we must understand is when Dr. Osama Hassan came out five years ago or six years ago and he spoke out, it was, it was four leading imams in London who signed things that called him for his death. We have a problem. In Indonesia and in India, where we have hundreds of millions of Muslims, only 30 to 40 have signed up to fight for ISIS. In Britain, we have 2.4 million Muslims, and we have over 1,000 young men who have grown up in our communities who have now headed out for that, bar- for that barbaric way of life. Well, the, go- the, go- the government is saying it's in the hundreds. There's dispute no, 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 over go- the numbers. The government is saying 600. And again, I am quoting a Muslim MP who's a very brave Muslim MP from Birmingham. Khalid Mahmood, I know exactly yeah, who you're talking about. Khalid Mahmood, come out and said 1,500, OK? Yeah. So again, that's not me. I'm quoting a Muslim MP. Now, we have a massive problem. And when you're talking about people feeling offended... We need to get used to it, yeah? Because we feel offended, OK? If you, well, people are going to feel offended on either side if we're going to get to the root cause and solve this problem. And, when, and it's going to get worse, and there's going to be bad times ahead. And it is. And until, until, those, until everyone stops saying, oh, you're Islamophobic for saying that, or your view... If you're going to call everyone that says that this, this way of life and this what we're seeing in, in, with our own eyes of ISIS and of okay. these groups, if you're going to say that everyone that says that's, that's fascism, yeah, if you're going to say that, you're going to call the whole country extreme. All right, all right. Because so this, me... this is now a mainstream view. All right, okay? Tommy, 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 let me just bring uh, Roshan Ali uh, in in this conversation as well. Roshan Ali, uh, welcome to the conversation. Uh, thank you, I'll thank you. What would you like to say? Now, you grew up as a Shia, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, w- would you and, like to? Uh, would you like to see people banned? People what? Sorry. Would you like to see people with extreme views banned from our TVs? No, no, and absolutely that? not. No, absolutely not. I think um, it's important to to know um, what's out there. Um, just like you said, so that we can challenge it. I want to just respond to a, a few things that Tommy um, has said. Firstly, I don't think he's a racist because Islam is not a race. Um, it's a religion. So, so, so you can because I'm a brown Muslim. There's going to be Arab Muslims, white Muslims, black Muslims. So his views are not racist views. Um, they could be considered Islamic. Secondly, I don't think he's against Muslims in general. I think he's against the Islamic extremist ideologies, which I, you know, which I, I have read the Quran being a Muslim, and I can say that certain verses in the Quran you, you cannot justify them. Wife beating, for example, cannot be justified. So I think you, you know you can oh people goodness. say you need to you, you need to put this in context. You need to contextualize things, um, but there's some things that you cannot put into context, and this is in the Quran, chapter four. Verse 34. You, you know, if you if your wives are rebellious against you, you can't beat them. First, you don't have sex with them, and you know, etc. And then you can't beat them. So, so I think Tommy has a point, and I think, and I'm, I'm not saying that I'm not I'm, I'm not Muslim because of that. I am a proud Muslim, and I think that the Quran was revolutionary for its time. But I think we need a new testament. I, I think we need to edit it and reform it um, so that it's more compatible with the 21st century. Okay. Uh, in the world. Hassan, you wanted to come in. Uh, the New Testament. What this is. This this is meant to be written, you know, hundreds of years ago by well, it's supposed to come down from God. So how do we rewrite the Quran? What what I want to say to Tommy is you, you mustn't paint every Muslim with the same brush. Just because um, you know what happened it in doesn't. Palestine, I don't blame every Jew. I have Jewish friends. But it seems like you're blaming me. Yeah, but, 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 okay, but it may feel like I'm blaming you. Tell me why. What have I said that you've done? What have I said that every Muslim's done? And why when have I said it's representative of the majority of Muslims? Because of who I am and because of my no, because of who I am and because of my background and because of what I've done and because of what the group I led, whenever I say anything, sometimes I copy and paste comments from Muslims, yeah? And I, I put them on Twitter and I watch the reaction where people react with fury. And this is just a, a, a comment that I copied from a Muslim. But because of me saying it, because it's me saying it, because of my history, you automatically think, oh, he's tiring us all. I'm not tiring you all, OK? And I, I, and I am well aware that the majority of Muslims are disgusted with the actions of ISIS. I'm well aware that the majority of Muslims are disgusted with the actions so, but, of paedophiles. But, 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 but Tommy, why, don't, why didn't you then put a caveat to the tweet from this Hindu person saying, problem is Muslim men want to then sexual swear word have 
with children. I mean, why didn't you put a caveat to that? Why didn't you tweet afterwards going, this is not my opinion, this is the opinion of someone else? Because you can understand why someone would look at this Bangladeshi tweet that you put out and think that that's your opinion. Well, no, it's not, because, you, you're, again, you're picking one tweet out, probably a, a flurry of conversation. But it's important. Where at, same, where at the same time, I've said many things, which I've, I've tried to highlight to you, a lot of the tweets that I've found, which people just cherry-pick, like you're cherry-picking. You're cherry-picking one tweet out. it's not irrelevant. Your opinion, Tommy, and that's what you believe. In. What's my opinion? Well, whatever you tweet is your opinion because you're retweeting something. That means you believe no, in it. No, no, that doesn't. Not. no, it doesn't. No, it's not. No, it's not. Re my, a retweet my, is not an endorsement. No, I, my, I, I retweet my, lots of things. My, opi my opinion is that if men want to lower the age of sex and marriage to below 15, which I believe the topic they were talking about was nine years old, my opinion is those men are sick. Now, I'm, not, right. I'm not ashamed of that opinion. I, I think okay, that's so disgusting, but that's nothing to do with the religion. But then why didn't you put, prob problem is, um, Bangladeshi men want it, not Muslim men. Well, what, they, what, 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 what faith were these men that were doing it? Well, they, they happen to be Muslim. Okay. But that doesn't mean it's Islam related in the same no, way no, in the same no, way no, Jimmy no, no. Savile doesn't but, but, represent but, but, you. But when you when you say it's not Islam related, they wish to lower the age to the age that the Prophet practiced. It is Islam related and you need to, to but, combat but, but, it. But, but and Tommy, to but it, Tommy, at that, to... at that time there were people there were royal families in Europe who were yes, who, who were willing to do Richard that the... as well. Yes, you know, so times yes, have so moved Richard, on. Richard the Lionheart had an eleven year old wife. Times have moved on, but they're trying to bring them back. I don't know a single comment. one of my Muslim friends who wants a nine year old wife, Tommy. You know, so why didn't Yeah, but but you didn't say Bangladeshi men, you said Muslim men. Now I know you're saying you're I know no, you're no, saying you're picking, you're picking you know, you're, you're you're taking that out of context in the same way we have a whole entire state taking the Quran out of context. You're saying that I'm taking it out of context, but why didn't you, if you are so open-minded as you're trying to make make out you are, that you didn't, you weren't aware, you weren't self-aware enough no. to say that that tweet would have ramifications? No, look, in view of all the recent situation in Britain with, with what we see as an epidemic of Muslim grooming gangs, yeah, don't you think you should be talking about why men want to lower the age to nine? So you, are, you, so you do think it's a problem with Muslim men and young girls then? I do believe there is a big problem in this country, and not just in this country, worldwide, yeah, which we're seeing, OK? We're seeing... I went to the conference, which was a Hindu conference, um, which, at our temple, which was about child exploitation. I listened to a police officer from the Metropolitan Child Exploitation Gang where they're dealing with a group of Somali men. All, all these groups of men were Muslim that they're tackling. All of these epidemics... But by your, right, right, but, but, but by your you, own, you, you know, right. paedophiles, we had recently a teacher who killed himself after being accused Good. by the police of being involved in taking pictures of young boys at the school where he taught. He was white. Yeah, yeah. The problem... <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, no, 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 the majority of paedophiles are white, yeah? And, and right. in Britain, we have a majority white okay. country, that's to be expected, but when we have a statistic as such as... 4% of this country is Muslim, yeah? When we see entire communities, we see Sikhs being targeted, we see Hindus being targeted, we see all every community being targeted, yeah? Where their daughters are being targeted by these gangs that are, are, are networked, networked across this entire country. And it's not my fault they're Muslim, man. Yeah? That's not my fault. It's not but my what about the Eastern no. European gangs that traffic, tra tra traffic uh, women all over? But anyway, listen, Russian Ali, you, yeah, wanted, to come, you, wanted, to come, you wanted to come in, Russian Ali? Yeah, sorry, I just wanted to say that, um, yeah, I agree that it's not a, a whole Muslim problem, but the, the part of the problem is with the other with the other ethnic groups who do this, they, they, they're just bad people. Whereas with the Muslims, a lot of people want to emulate the Prophet. The Prophet lived in a different era, and he married a six-year-old girl, consummated the marriage at the age of, of, of nine, and people look up to that. People don't speak out against it. So, 